Hi, Rumians. I'm Drushnik. Thank you for being here, and welcome back to another episode of the Grumi Collective in our Stellaris Federations series. Rumi's right behind me, so you're probably going to hear stuff. Um, <laughs> just saying. So, <laughs> it was it was already two episodes ago, but um, I was... Do you remember... Blah, talking is hard. Do you remember that I was complaining about my fleet power? Because it had suddenly halved. So, one of you, Robert, told me, and I am ashamed to say I did not know this, that if you are out of energy credits, <laughs> your fleet power gets halved. I honestly did not know. I really, really, really did not know. And I think that is because I usually don't have energy credit problems. Especially not since I really like playing as a synthetic empire. And for some reason, I usually have heaps and heaps of energy. Um, but this time I didn't. So yeah, that for, for those who don't know it either, that is how it works. So uh, yeah. Use it to your advantage, this knowledge. Use it to your advantage. Now let's put two of these people in Lycan, and then we have a little bit of a problem here. Six unemployed, four unemployed, six unemployed, seven in Cloverfield. This is ridiculous. This is not okay. Not okay. So just one here and Thurium six, but we are building an advanced research complex, so that will help a little bit, hopefully. For Thurium three and lack of housing, not good. Really not good. We also need to upgrade this, though. Oh yeah, one more pop, that's what we were waiting for. Redwood is upgrading to the system capital complex as well. We could upgrade this. Let's do that. Orchid is building a sacred nexus. Lily is building six unemployed here as well. Upgrading to a system capital complex. We might want to upgrade. You know what though? I don't know if I want the civilian fabricators. It is five jobs though. Yeah, let's do it. Makes it eight, eight jobs. Two here in Treebeard, Elodea, one. Cloverfield, seven actually, seven. Seven unemployed people, no housing. This is an issue. We need to fix it. You know what, uh, let's do the jobs first actually. So this is two jobs, this is two jobs. Three jobs if we do the researchers. Three on the alloys, let's do alloys. Let's do alloys, okay. So we have the L cluster. Ooh, Authority of Agaria, commercial pact. Oh yes, we were trying to get them in our in our um, uh, plant power federation, weren't we? Huh. We might we might be able to do this. We might be able to pull it off. It's just they they have a um, war philosophy issue with us. But maybe in time, if we improve our standing with them. Okay, um, let's go to my fleets. Oh, game. Game, you are so laggy! Oh, man. Endgame Stellaris, man. Yan, I'm what, I would like to upgrade you. What was I saving up for? Do you remember? Because I don't remember. I really don't remember. Um... I do know I was upgrading Prithy. I'm already doing that. And Post Catnip is upgrading as well. That was a seamless transfer, by the way. Uh, Governor Stock of Magenta has become more experienced, but oh, is now difficulty hasn't having difficulty to accept new ideas, so it has become stubborn. Yeah, let's upgrade Hian. And we have Myus over there. Wow, game, game. Stop the lag. Okay, we might want to upgrade you. Hodronus is being upgraded. Yes, right now it's complete. Myus this time. But I also want to be able to fix this this ring world here. Construction complete. I mean, our fleets are okay. We might want to get them back up to full strength. Might want to prioritize that. 
Hmm. Maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um. Let's see, Purpurium, you, you are at 80, so we really need this. 225 more minerals, and then we can upgrade to the system capital complex, which will give four housing. That's good. Invisible death. Our scientists have returned from the X-Van labs unscathed with footage collected from the facility's security cameras. It shows lab scientists bound and gagged as guerrilla soldiers pry open the weapon strong box. But to their dismay, the box is empty. Only minutes later, the rebels can be seen writhing on the floor in intense agony. Dark patches swelling across their bodies. Then, their skin rips and a gray, unidentifiable matter spills out. The matter continues to expand, swirling hypnotically around them, until one of the scientists activates the emergency system. Spilling sprinklers douse the room in liquid, and an electrical surge passes through it, executing all living things. Here, the footage ends. Our crew can confirm that the strong box was indeed empty. Spooky. Okay, so this is uh, actually one of the um, X Men endings that um, doesn't really give you much. <laughs> Great. I'm glad I went there. So, what are we doing? We're basically waiting for the end game crisis, aren't we? Here we are. We really Research are. Research complete. And trying to fix our worlds. Get more food. Trying to get our fleets back up to strength, I guess. And then what? One more month. Station oh, there under we go. Attack. Ooh, pirates again! Oh man. Thanks. Fleeing aggressors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep your shirt on. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's take uh, let's take these guys over here. Kill. We did need a, a gateway here, didn't we? We did. Should we put it in Inessa? Let's put it in Inessa. I actually think that this. Uh... No, it it fled. Okay, good. We need a gateway there. We do. Gateway construction site. Two and a half thousand alloys. Okay. Okay. Because this is taking too long and pirates keep spawning here. It keeps happening over and over and over and it's really annoying. So we gotta, we gotta fix it. We gotta fix it. There is no other option. Now these guys are flying through that gateway. They're coming out here in Jezume. And then they have to fly quite a ways to get to the pirates. It's less than ideal. So let's save up those alloys and build a gateway first before we get more Research of our complete. fleets back online. Get more energy credits, good. Now let's go for energy weapon attack speed. And Anthurium needs housing as well. Man. This is so, so frustrating. Three unemployed here. We could upgrade the administrative offices. We don't really need to. I could also go for the uh, fortress. I think we have enough. Mo oh no, we don't have enough moats, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because here in Elodea, we can actually build a chemical plant soon. And then we can make more moats. More moats, more fun. I don't know if that's true. Might not be true. Moats might be extremely boring. Who knows? Who knows? So we need uh, 480. Okay, good. Um, then let's... Hmm. Don't have the alloys yet either. Ooh, income and transmission. Yes, we would like to extend our deal with the curators. Thankfully, we now have enough energy again to do so. Only one fleet flying about, so the other ones are uh, safely docked in crew quarters, I think. You have crew quarters, right? Yes, you do. That one. Okay. Research complete. Auto saves. <sighs> you have crew quarters too. Yeah, I, I rebuilt that. Now we're getting more minerals. That's good. Um, let's go for strike craft attack speed. Spacebound science platform lost. Ah, it took them a while though to destroy that. 
There we go, built the chemical plant. And you're almost there, good. We're almost at two and a half K alloys, also good. Now, how much influence does it cost? I thought it was a hundred, but I'm not entirely sure. Where is it? Gateway construction, yeah, hundred. So let's put it, let's put it here so they can fly to Carenza or Difda quickly. So in the middle, maybe. Mineral extraction platform lost. I'm gonna get back. So, oh, we have two and a half K. Eh. Come on, man. There. Have fun with that. And then three unemployed, four unemployed. Sunlight has a building slot available. Good. We're getting moats though. So what do we want? I don't know yet. Something that gives us a lot of jobs. Um, two, two, one, two, five. Commercial. Oh yeah, we were building the commercial zones here. That's right. I remember now. Battle commenced. And then we can put other people on this planet. Now we also need to upgrade this. We need housing and jobs. We're Construction gonna start, complete. We're gonna start running out of um, crystals too. Okay, you got you did your Construction thing. Construction complete. Go back home. It's gonna take a while before this construction ship can build that. Unless we just take this dude and have him rebuild the things. And you are upgraded again. Uh, let's do another gun and missile battery. And then... I would like a disruption field generator. Complete. A command center and... A comms jammer. Oh, and we can reach into the shroud again. Let's do that. Must. Focus. Okay, should we linger for a while? Let's do it. Oh, another curse! Oh, why do we keep getting cursed? This is very unlucky. What happened? Sublight travel speed of our starships has been reduced for 60 months. 20% slower. That's a big, big, big setback. Grr. Making a food processing center would make sense, actually. It's only one job, though. Only one job. This. This is five extra jobs. That is insane. Give me five jobs. Okay. There's a fly on my screen. <laughs> I, was, I was briefly worried that you could see it, but of course you can't. Awesome. Research complete. Food from jobs. That should fix the food situation, I think. And then here, I would like to go for a longer edict duration. Um, let's see at the end of the month. Yeah. Okay. Food situation fixed. Now, let me see. Hmm. What I need here on Thurium is housing, but I also need jobs. Basically, this planet is too small to house this many people. I could go for... Uh, alloy foundries, I guess. Upgrade that. Now, Lycans could still build districts. So we could totally go for a food district, for example. Purpurium is full. Redwood, full. Orchid, full. 
really full. Nothing I can do here. Should we say discourage planetary growth? Yeah, but the problem is, it, it increases pop upkeep. We might want to start building habitats then, but that's all administrative stuff. Or just fix the ring world. Why don't you? I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? It really does. 10k alloys. Okay. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. I have 23k consumer goods. Now I have 13k. 8k. Let's buy some alloys. Let's do it again. Okay, 6.2k. We're getting there. We are getting there. And the minerals are still a little bit of an issue too, because the lithoids just keep, keep growing in our territory. But I guess there's not much we can do about Research that. Research complete. Um, let's go for energy weapon attack speed, and then let's see. We could upgrade Paith, or Zarak, Blaine. You. Well, we don't really need to set you up with anything right now, do we? I just wanted to upgrade you. We do need those Titan assembly yards back here. You do have a trade hub already. I guess we could go for some defenses. And then on you, Prithi, you also need to be upgraded to a Citadel. Are we going to do that first? Or are we going to wait for the ring world? Let's wait for the ring world. I think Prithi is fine for now. Our fleets can be there really quickly, if need be. Let's see. Okay, the acceptance of the Igarians to join our Federation is getting higher. So maybe, maybe we can make it happen. I mean, we are very peaceful, aren't we? Why are we so peaceful, guys? Why? Let's look at the victory screen. Okay, we are 16k behind the Imurza. Yes, increased benefits on Lily. There's nothing more I can do about that. Really need that ring world to happen. Resolution has failed. Wow, that's been a while. Let's look at our Federation again. We Research are level complete. 4. We are moving towards level 5. Which would give us unity for each envoy, damage to endgame crisis factions, and monthly unity plus 10%. I do like that damage to endgame crisis factions. That is useful. Um... I was thinking about something. Edicts. We have enough to start another ambition. This one's ending in three years. Omniferia's acquisition. What I would like... Megastructure build speed plus 50%. That is what I would like. That would be very useful for saving up for that- uh, I mean, not saving up, for building that ring world. Scientific revolution is nice, too. But no, as soon as we click on the ring world, we're gonna go for architectural renaissance. Now, in terms of ascension perks... I still don't really know what I want. We could go for Master Builders. I mean, we did want to build some things, right? So it, it might make sense to do this, actually. Let's go for Master Builders. There we go. We need a thousand more alloys for our big plan. Biggest planus. Let's, uh, get... Hmm. What kind of district? Maybe Mineral now? Now we're gonna need energy. We, I know we're gonna need energy. That will also give some housing. 
And here... Do we have crystals left? No. Gases and moats, though. Like in four unemployed people. We need crystals. I'll replace you with a crystal plant. Research complete. Construction complete. We have a longer edict duration now. That's good. Oh, and now two edicts have expired. That's nice. Um, a recycling campaign and a healthcare campaign. That's fine. Now... I am getting one nanite per month. So that's something. This is a citadel. We need a disruption field generator here. We also basically need... I don't know. We need something. Command center or something. We might want to build some defense platforms there. However, however, 9.9k alloys, so let's fix up... Ooh, gateway construction in Inessa is ready. Good. Let's go for the southern ring. Boom. 2,248 days remaining. Okay. We have started it, so let's go to the e no, edicts. And let's make it even faster. Architectural Renaissance. Boom. Okay. That's done. That is done. Let's go to the gateway site. How much is this now? 2,500 alloys. We'll be there soon. We'll be there soon. Um... Purpurian... Redwood. Well, we do have enough gases, so let's upgrade this. And you can still have districts. Let's have a food district. Six unemployed here on Cloverfield. Bad. We'll just have benefits everywhere. <laughs> Until we can get rid of some of those people somehow. Not much else I can do. Habitats are very expensive to build as well. And they've only complete. been made better in the last update, which I'm not playing at with, as you know. The 001 interface has been destroyed. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, let's see. Um, do -do -ba -do -ba -do. We need 2.5k alloys. How are we going to get them? Do I want to cheat and go to the market? We do have a lot of dark matter. There we go. Because otherwise I'm going to forget. Boom. Gateway being built. Just like that. There's a 10k raiding fleet here by the Adik's Reavers. Okay. You have fun there. Um, so I guess we can focus on our fleet again now. And I don't know if we want to have a starbase in Mizar because there's a gateway there, but I think it's okay. I think we're fine. Famous last words. And we had the interstellar assembly here, right? No, no, the ruined Research century array. Complete. 15k alloys. Okay. Okay. Got it. Um, let's go for a lower building cost, I suppose. And with that, I'm going to cut the episode here. And in the next one, uh, we... <laughs> I mean, really, the endgame crisis could hit us at any moment. So there's no telling what will happen. If it does hit, I mean... I'm not saying I'm ready. I really, I'm not saying I'm ready. But construction um, complete. I guess I guess we're only getting more ready, readier, <laughs> ready-ish. I'm ready-ish. So let's see. 
Let's see what hits us. I have no idea. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did hit the like button and please consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in the Groomy Collective come out about every other day at 8pm CET. And I will see you next time.